Did you close COD? The day of reckoning is upon us. You what? Did you close COD? Yeah. Yeah, close COD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Armageddon oh. the Bible warned us about has finally oh, come ones. true. Go on. Go on. The demon of Dogecoin has taken over Twitter. Who's the guy who does like the, um, he's like, the um, made some... like the video where he goes on campus and he asks questions to people. I forgot his name. Some massive changes it. internally. Oh, it video. took only a matter of minutes with Elon Musk at the top of the Twitter food chain for him to let WrestleMania run wild and start firing people. Oh my god, my ears. Oh my god, I am all that Twitter that. executives. Okay. The CEO, the CFO, and the chief legal officer, all of them were immediately just let go by Musk. Now, of course, they're not leaving without some. Wait, who left? Wait. The three top Twitter executives whom Elon Musk fired Thursday will walk out a door with about 187 million of Musk money. Uh, former CEO, CFO, and um, CLO. Compensation, they're getting a lot of money in this firing, but even still, he just took three of the top executives and just said, pack your bags, you're, you're going home. But before I get into those- Am I supposed to feel bad for like near billionaires, boys? Am I supposed to feel bad? Is this the time or what? Changes, I want to go over the reception to this news because I've already seen no? some okay, wacky tantrums being thrown about it. And overall, people are more divided than my butt cheeks on how to feel about all this. So I want to give my perspective right away. I'll toss my take out there. I think this is just going to be a huge nothing burger that most people are going to forget about in two weeks because there's not going to be any meaningful, noticeable difference in the platform itself with Elon Musk at the helm. They don't even I think the anyway. problem with Twitter isn't own. necessarily a platform problem. It's a people problem. It's just fucking dumb, stupid idiots on there. And since everyone has a voice that's amplified because of just how big Twitter is, those things gain steam, gain traction, and then you have people always arguing with each other over the stupidest shit. Biff Cheeseburger over here is talking about how women are sexually abused because it's their own fault for what they're wearing. And then that ends in a, like a giant viral conflict where people are somehow debating this as if there was ever even like a legitimate argument in the first place. But besides just the incoherent ramblings of a raving lunatic. So I don't even think the Twitter, the biggest problem with Twitter is with the platform they itself. It really feels to me like the main issue is just the people. Wait, my order. Twitter is oh a more toxic place than Chernobyl. Twitter is like the modern age equivalent of using asbestos in everyday life, just slowly killing your brain cells instead. It's just awful. And I don't know what Elon Musk could possibly do to make it better, but I also don't think there's anything he could do to make it worse. I think currently Twitter is in the worst possible state it could be, and even if he starts unbanning accounts, I don't see that somehow making the platform worse. Like, it really feels like it's genuinely rock bottom, like the bedrock in hell itself. So really, the only way to go is up from here, but I just don't see it happening. I can't imagine a world where all of a sudden Twitter rallies and becomes a positive force for good in the world. But maybe I'll be proven wrong. Maybe Elon Musk has some grand vision for the platform. Wait, you think that it's bad that he fired them or what? See. Though I highly doubt that he has any plan at all besides he thought it'd be a fun joke and he wipes his ass with $40 billion, so why not buy it? So anyway, that's my whole take on it. Oh, I will say though, as I've been very upfront in the past, I'm not a huge Elon Musk fan. I'm not like a diehard musketeer or whatever the super fans call themselves or the cult-like following he has with crypto bros who huff copium every single day, <laughs> replying to all of his tweets, praying that he'll at least give them a crumb of attention to try and save their dying shitcoin. Yeah, overall, I'm just not really an Elon Musk supporter, and even I don't think this is going to somehow plummet Twitter into an even deeper shithole status, but some people really seem to think so. I won't go through a ton of them, in fact, I really only want to look at one. Most of the responses were very pretentious and exaggerated about how this is like going to ruin the entirety of society. This is going to plunge us into a deeper divide and everything's ruined now that Elon Musk has Twitter. Chat, But the chat. one I want to focus- Chat. What if you make a trillion dollars, right? Like fucking Jeff Bezos, right? And you buy all the top companies, right? Like most of them, like social media shit, all of them. And you just tank them and troll them and you pretty much just destroy them. Are you allowed to do that or not? Okay, buy one, kill it. Buy one, kill it. Buy and then one by one. Then that's not a limit. That's not a This one is one that I saw floating around all over the place, and it said the gates of hell opened on this site tonight, as if they weren't already. There are pedophiles using Twitter openly. Zoophiles that get viral posts talking about how zoophile acceptance is important. 
Twitter is already the gates of hell, and we are constantly taking a look into the abyss. That's not going to change with Elon Musk at the helm now. It's not like it was in a good state before Elon Musk. It's not like Elon Musk came in here like a burglar in the night and stole the crown jewel of society. He basically came in here like a garbage man and swept up a pile of dog shit and kept it to himself. Nothing is really much worse right now. I don't know what this journalist who made the tweet was seeing. I don't know where they were that all of a sudden Elon Musk taking over suddenly sprung forth all kinds of foul miasma that just spread throughout all of Twitter like a plague. It's exactly the fucking same. The only thing that has changed is internally, and they are big internal changes. By firing these top executives, he's sending a message that he's Step just going to run this shit with Twitter. an iron fist. Step two. And he's been very Deleted. adamant about Problem making Twitter TF. more welcoming to free speech and less censorship. I'm not a fan of censorship, I've made that clear. I have an overall dislike for censorship, so it's not like I'm exactly crying over him firing people that were very uh, for it. So, him firing these people doesn't make me upset. It seems to have made other people upset, which surprises me, considering most people don't like the state of Twitter pre-Musk anyway. So, I don't think there's anything wrong with trying to change course and experiment with other options to make Twitter somehow marginally better. True. He said in a Twitter post that he's going to be forming a content moderation council with widely diverse viewpoints and that no major content decisions or account reinstatements will happen before the council convenes. And so far, this is the only strategy he's revealed publicly with this team that he's going to be setting up. And I guess we'll see how it all plays out. I, again, don't think this is going to lead to any massive changes, positive or negative, to the user experience on Twitter or the platform as a whole. I guess we'll see, though. Uh, I'm always up to be pleasantly surprised. Well, if it's positive. So, yeah, that's about it. Interesting. See ya. Next juice is in two weeks. Exactly, for sure.